Okay, a uh, fairly common one, um, adjusting the mileage on um, a 90 instrument cluster, or lots of the NW instrument clusters to be fair. Um, he might be changing them, he needs to change the mileage to match. Um, we also need to change the chassis number really. Um, same with the CAS module. So currently someone's been messing with this one, as you can see, dials and stuff are not in the right place, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, this is just one, I, I scrapped one and it's got no, 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 nine miles. So someone has done something. Don't know what. But let's pull it apart. Okay, so first thing, we get this off. It's nice and easy. You've got those tabs there. You just push them back out of the way. Take this out. Um, so obviously we've got the back we want to take off, but the chips we want to get to are behind the front anyway. So we'll pop the needles off. Um, pretty easy to do. Just trying to see why they were out of line. Oh no, they're pretty much where they should be. Um, I'm going to pop them off. Um, basically, they lever upwards. Um, just obviously don't mark the place. You can put tape down, put cloth down. People use spoons, things like that. Um, whatever works for you. It's really easy. They just come upwards. Be gentle. And they're off. So yeah, I just lever them up. Uh, put them over there, put them in order. It's probably best, but like, doesn't really matter. Um, just, you know, if you're sensible, you won't put a really big one where a really, really little one goes. And, um, you know, putting a tiny one like that for your rev counter or speedo. Uh, well, I suppose you can see how many kilometers now you're doing. But yeah, that's just stupid. They're off. Then we want to get these puppies off. Da -da. Doo -doo. Um, that little guy. <gasps> we can see things. Look at them, they're LEDs that light up all your warning lights. Um, there's the spindles for your motors. Here we go, get the LCD off, flip it over, get the other side off, and I'll show you that now. There we go, the back is off. Um, it's really the only thing like this, just on the list. The only thing holding it on is the connector block has. Does that come across clearly on camera? There you go, the little tabs there, 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 and there that um, need squeezing together just to slide that guy off, um, but that's that bit. Um, so now we take the ribbon cable off, which is pretty straightforward. Trying to do this is balancing, this isn't where I normally do it, but like I said, this is an old scrap. I don't even know if this is any good. Might be able to sell it to someone once it's done. Um, pop that out and that out. There you go, see, we slid that black thing forward. And our ribbon cable slides forward like that. There you go, that's the front off. Um, to get it off the circuit board, just have that white tab. Uh, where are we? See the white tabs? You just pull them out and away it comes. Really straightforward. And that is what, that is basically your instrument panel. Uh, you know, all the other stuff is dressing. So, for example, this, you know, that's your speedo side. Rev counter side is over there. Go like that. So what we are interested in is that little guy there, that EEPROM there. Um, can we zoom you right in close? An 080. So what we want to do is pop him off the board, read him out. There's some dirty soldering marks there, isn't there? What's been going on? Hmm. Interesting. I'll clean them up as well while I'm, while I'm at it. But um, this is just, yeah, just a, the point of this one was it's one I just found lying around. Like I said, I don't know if it's any good just to make a video. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's that guy. Hmm, somewhere I have a big tub of flux, but I can't find him. Um, I was just rummaging through the drawers. I think it might be in my van, actually. Just popped into my head. I was just rummaging through the drawers, and I have this. This will do the job. So, head off. Let's see. Swap hands. Give me a good old shake. Fluxy flux. Whoa, that's loads. That's way more than I intended. Um, not that it matters, because I do want to tidy up whatever the hell's gone on there before, but I will just soak up a bit there. Don't want that little guy suffering. There we go. And then we'll give it a bit of hot air. Do, 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 do. Right, need two hands, but I'll show you it once the chip is off. There we go, there's our chip off. There's um, 
where he was we'll tidy that up before we put him on there and we'll give him a bit of a clean up and then we'll put him in a reader um, on a completely different point you know when you're um, when you quite like something for no reason you just like a certain thing so I can't find my flux which I think is in my van and my favourite tweezers which yes it's very sad but I have a favourite tweezers I don't know why I like them so much but these are not them they are clearly eloped with my flux let's see if I can do this through the camera Ooh. No. <laughs> oh, yay. Right, so. Can I focus him? No. Uh, anyway, let me get him in a programmer. So there we go, we're in a programmer. Um, it's in the CG Pro um, on the M350 adapter because an 080DQ is part of that family. Um, I normally like to solder them on. You see that gets soldered quite a bit, that little guy. Um, but I thought I'd drop it in the droppy thing. I don't, sometimes you got fair for the moon, it just went straight you know, it's, it's in there. Let's give her a read um, it's okay as a programmer um, the only reason I'm using it is a built in calculator, makes makes the mileage stuff easy. So we fire up the program, which is there not read it yet, so uh, what we got? Dashboard BMW uh, 080, mode 1, let's read do -do -do -do. Oh, that's interesting. Right, all them zeros show that it's been blanked. So they're all zeros. That'll be why it had 999 on the dash. It's just been virginized. So if we find the chassis number, which is uh, 2E. Oh, there we go. F, 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 F. The chassis number has been removed, although that last bit doesn't need to be F. God knows what's supposed to be there. Um, ah. Interesting. Uh, we'll try and just read in mode two, and obviously we're getting valid mileage. Read in mode two. Do do do. See what with these. Um, yes, yeah, the same thing. So let's do this. I'll show you how it should look. So the first two lines at the very top, um, O and uh, one O, or O and one O. Um, should be right let's I'll show you let's just put some mileage in there um let's whack a uh, hundred thousand kilometers in there and yeah we'll write that in so these chips are locked so uh, so you can see it's been done already so where the stuff is at the beginning there you have to delete that then write in the new stuff um, or if you leave it deleted like I have, uh, you can then sync it on like, well, like it previously was. I'm assuming it was me at some point in my life. I've just found this in a pile of other stuff I have. Um, there we go. So now if I plug her back into the car, well, let's reread it and see. Make sure. 100,000 kilometers is what I told it it needs to have. 100,000 kilometers is what it reads. If I plug that back into the instrument panel and light her back up, we'll have 100,000 kilometers. I might as well just leave it virgin uh, so I can sell it as a good virgin unit. Um, or shall I put it in there just to show you? Um, so, yeah, where are we? Ah, stupid mouse. These my, for so many laptops, the mice sometimes start to play up as they, I don't know why, as they go older. But see, in here where we've got the Fs, we could put the, uh, the short fin of the replacement vehicle, but if we leave it as F, so it can be programmed on the car. Easy. Right, so next we'll do a CAS. It's not, I don't think it's the same CAS for this ECU. Uh, I just have a CAS lying around. I haven't opened it yet. I don't know why I've got it. It might be a damaged one. Um, oh, the mouse has gone. I've got to close the screen and then open the screen to make it work. If I can, I'm going to stick this chip back in the board and show you. Uh, back on the board. Um, <laughs> not very well. Um, I cleaned it up a bit and threw that on there. My Favorite roller, <laughs> all my favorite stuff, roller solder. It's also disappeared with my flux and my and my uh, tweezers. Um, oh, it's annoying. It doesn't matter. It's going to have to come off anyway uh, for me to virginize it. But I was just doing this for the benefit of anyone who may well be watching. So yeah, let me get um, the uh, display plugged back on, and I'll show you. So just throwing it back together. A couple of wires in the back just to power it up. Give her a bit of power. Oh, have I knocked a wire out? I don't know, she's not drawing any current for some reason. And there we go. Oh. 
that's not right. So to my reckoning, 100,000 kilometers is about 62,000 miles. That's half, so that's actually 50,000 kilometers-ish. So what did I do wrong there? This is why we check things. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's what I did wrong, mode two. I was, because I didn't know, you've got to try the different modes you don't know, but I had nothing to start with. So if I load that file, so if I go to mode one, load the file I've just written, which is a 100,000 kilometer file, I'll go to mode one, reload that file, which is, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. there, 50,000 kilometers, there we go, but yeah, so, that is about 50,000 kilometers, um, anyway, I'm going to be zeroing that off, um, now, and then I'm going to probably put it on the shelf for sale, or stick it on eBay, or do what, maybe it was me who did last time, and it'll just sit in a box, and about five years I'll pull it out and go, oh, I'm going to make a video, um, there we go, that's that one, so next we're going to do Kaz is Kaz 3. So there's our CAS 3 um, to open them up, really simple. It's inside this casing, obviously. Um, four little tabs, just push them out of the way, slide the circuit board out. Now this, I don't know if it comes across the camera, see that shiny, gluey, um, uh, lacquery stuff? Um, yes, that's called conformal coating. It's covered in it, so we need to clean off the points that we want to operate on um, to get a connection. There's lots of different ways you can do this, but I've got some little conformal coating removing tools which just means that all I do is take it off the actual points I want not to slather the board in um, acetones and acids and melty things when we don't need to um, but they just make it a ball, 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 ball like right so it's all connected up I will put the I'll use the same program I use the CG um, uh, there's other stuff I prefer for these but um, since we're just doing the mileage on this, I shall use that. Um, I'll tell you a little secret, because it's just a piece of crap, I don't even know if this one works again, I found lying around, it's just to make a video. I have not even cleaned off the conformal coating, I just used the heat of the soldering iron. So it may not even connect first time, and I'm not going to lie to you and go, oh yes, it connects first time. So I'll plug it on now, and then we shall go through it. Well, it was so badly connected as I moved things around to connect it up. Uh, the earth flew off. Um, right, yeah, anyway, she's connected. I bet it won't read. Let's find out. So, uh, let's see a BMW. CAS 0L01Y is the chip type. Try and read it. Powering on, matching chip. There we go. <sighs> I think I have to do it properly. I can't be bothered. Right, because I honestly can't be bothered, because I've never did this on a customer's vehicle, don't get me wrong. But this is just one I found lying around, in, I, I, maybe a damaged one, I don't know why I have it. I've got lots of stuff um, from over the years. Um, I've just resoldered them a little bit more, it's awful. Um, because I haven't cleaned it up, and we'll try again. Uh, where are we? Read it. No, didn't like it. Oh, what a shame. Oh well. Aha! <laughs> I just resolded it again. Because <laughs> uh, that was I was about to give up. I was like, I can't be bothered with this video. Um, so let's not save that for a second. Let's go through the file. Let's see, so we have a mileage, but that doesn't mean this is a good file by any means. What you need to know have we got any chassis information? Which. <laughs> it should be. <gasps> We do, WBAW, I'm not going to show you the chassis number of this vehicle, but let me, well, why not, I don't know where it's from actually, what am I saying, um, WBAW, so how many, how many digits have we got, count along with me, if you can count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, we do, so let's do another read, it probably might not work this time, uh, just because it's just so badly, oh no, it's decrypting it again, Hey, and now let's go back down. No, we're not going to save you. Go away. Let's go on back down. That's the same chassis number. Do do do. Same mileage. So now we have the ability. So you know, it's ninety-four thousand kilometers. Well, let's match it with our 
instrument cluster, shall we? So it's doing that. It might not write now because again, because of the bad. Uh, it's decrypting the chip. Yeah, it's going to work. Operation completed. So then, obviously, we read it back out. We got our fifty thousand kilometers. There you go. That's Kaz done. Kaz is nice and straightforward and quick. Well, when you clean it up, probably it takes a bit longer. But there you go. Um, hopefully, that helped somebody or you found it interesting. Now, bear in mind these. BMW, quite expensive. Uh, don't go breaking them. Uh, you, you know, we can utilize used ones and stuff like that, but you need to know what you're doing. That was very expensive from BMW as well. So, you know, um, and if you're if you're doing this or wanting to be doing this, or if you're a customer, it may look like it takes five minutes, it doesn't take five minutes, and we charge accordingly for doing complex work on complex components. <laughs>